Hello, good morning friends. In the last video in paper 2, it is poetry from 14th century to 17th century. In the last video, we discussed unit 3, topic 4, years since brass, nor stone, nor earth, nor boundless sea written by William Shakespeare. We gave the introduction about William Shakespeare. Dear friends, you cannot imagine, you cannot imagine English literature without Shakespeare's literary creation. Like Shakespeare's Sahitya, a surgeon in the English Sahitya, Kalpana Nagarishapu, Euke Oye, and it is enough that the importance, fame, and reputation of Shakespeare in English literature. He, you can say that his contribution is unbeatable and priceless. His great tragedy, great comedy, historical play, even his poetry inspired all the new writer, the new generation of the readers and writers in the future. Okay, we can discuss Shakespeare was born in 23rd April 1564 and died in 23rd April 1660. Westminster upon Ewan, he is called the Bard of Ewan or he was the national poet. He is the greatest writer in the English literature and he is the greatest dramatist of the in the world his great tragedy we can give the name Hokom H Hokom H for Hamlet O for Othelop K for King Lear M for Macbeth these are the great tragedy these other tragedy Julius Caesar Romeo and Juliet Antonio Cleopatra these are the other his historical play Henry for Henry fifth and the seventh and these are his Edward Three and four. These are the his historical play, his famous romantic comedy, as you like it. A Midsummer Night's Dream, Merchant of Venice, Tempest, Measure for Measure, All Well That Ends Well. These are the his very popular, or you can say that romantic tragedy and drive. That's a romantic comedy and. And dry comment, and he's the con and he also wrote 154 sonnets, and these 54 154 sonnets, he addresses addresses means addresses the mitro sambodhan karu and addresses the sannam. He has work with the sambodhan. He addresses to unknown youth, Mr. W H, and a black beauty, a black lady. And the theme of his sonnet is love, death, time, passionate love. These are the his theme of Shakespearean sonnet. And due to the his popularity and the three as Spencer, Shakespeare and Sydney and the sonnet, he can make the we can discuss in this form of sonnet. Sonnet is a 14 line, poem of the 14 lines, composed in a I am big pentameter. I am big pentameter means that there was a one trace untraced of the five pair of the trace untraced consonant and we can five trace untraced words. Like a Lagu Guru 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 Pune, Lagu Guru Lagu Ria Paj, Sabduni Jodi Wadu, Yare, Pankti, and I am big pentameter. For example, since brass, not stone. Nor earth, nor boundless sea. So here, untraced trace, untraced trace, untraced trace, lagu guru, lagu guru, lagu guru, and this was the, it is called the five pair. Four and five. Un 
But okay, dear friend, it is called the iambic. We can discuss later on iambic pentameter. It is written in a iambic pentameter, and that we can use. Those are the petrarch, and then we can also discuss that he used the rhyming scheme of a Shakespeare known as A B A D. Rhyming scheme means tal. Film mana mitro thame jyota hoyse mitro. Ema kya thi hoyse? Sab dono tal based hoyse. Sab dono pras based hoyse. Ne rhyming scheme kya hoy? To pehla. लाइन में चलो शब्द ये तीसरी लाइन में चलो शब्द फॉर एग्जांपल ये है ए बी ए बी ए बी ए बी ए बी ए बी एन फर्स्ट एंड फोर्थ इट इज द राइट स्कीम ऑफ दैट वर्ड सी डी सी डी दैट वर्ड एंड डी सी डी सी डी एंड ई एफ सी एफ एंड डी दिस आर द मेनिंग ए बी ए बी सी डी सी डी ई एफ ई एफ जी जी द राइमिंग वर्ड्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट A three quatrain and A couplet. Okay, and it is just this is most and it is written in a I am big pentameter. Okay, this one first of that we enjoy the beauty of the sonnet, dear friends. That was in here. That was also copy of it. You can read it. That's here. I have the man. Okay, listen there. Sonnet number sixty-five. Since brass, no stone, no earth. Nor boundless sea, by William Shakespeare. Since brass, nor stone, nor earth, nor boundless sea, but say morality over says their parts. How weak this race shall beauty hold a plea? Whose excel is no stronger than a flower? Here the one word pen is over. Second. Oh, how shall a summer's honey breath hold out against the wrathful seas of battering days, when rocks impregnable are not so so shout, nor gets of the steel so strong, but time decays. Oh, fearful meditation, where act. Self times best jewel from times chased life height, or what strong head can hold his swift foot back, or or whose his spoil of beauty can forbid? Oh, none unless this miracle have might. That's in a black ink my love may still shine bright. Okay, friends, in this sonnet number sixty five. There was the the, the story, uh, you can say the ideas or theme of the times. It was the passage of the time. It is going on from the sort of sixty three and sixty four, and the passage of time. But we can say that the theme of that is it is the time where nothing or nobody can escape. Or we can say that the, these are the central theme of this poem. The passage of time. How we destroy all earthly things. लेकिन समय से ये बदी दुनिया ने कोई पर कमी थी मजबूत हुआ है सिक्सटी थ्री नहीं अंदर वाला सोने नहीं अंदर वाला तो हमारे सिक्सटी थ्री पर वो राजा ने मेल हुआ है मोटा मोटा सम्राट को भी कीर्ति हुआ है मोटा मोटा सब हम मजबूत मजबूत पर्वतों पर आप बदी पर्वतों ने सुकरे समय जाए इतने मजबूत बिके इतने नाश कई रीति अर्थी थी अर्थ इतने दुनियादारी में जो वस्तु है दुनिया में जो वस्तु जो आ मिले ये दुनियादारी में वस्तु ने आज समय से ये कई रीते नाश करे छे यानी बात करे छे यू टाइम्स रेंज समय में कुछ सोचे नथिंग और नोबडी कैन एस्केप एस्केप इन द फाइनल समय ना गुस्सा थी समय ना क्रोध थी और समय थी कोई बच्चे ने भाग सकतो नथिंग and here he can then here in this poem he can give that importance of that time 
you can use the time space which you have time space time has a shift food these are the can the whole the central theme of this sonnet is time and the distraction of the time a passage of time proves its distraction on earthly thing मतलब समय चारों से दुनियादारी वस्तु ने नाश कर देते ए आ सोने की मुख्य कथा वस्तु से कह लीजिए सेंट्रल एनिसो से इट इज रिगन कॉल्ड द सेंट्रल थीम इट इज अ सेंट्रल थीम इन द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम हाउ इट डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल द थिंग्स एंड टाइम वेस्ट द थिंग और नोबडी कैन एस्केप अने माते में टाइम्स माते ना शब्द वापरे टाइम्स समय धातु कोई पत्थर के पत्थर के बाहर देना पत्थर के बजे पृथ्वी पोते अथवा कोई कौन फार्मलेस अमरिया समुद्र अगास समुद्र के वहां मौजूद रहते हो अमरिया जी समुद्र तेरे पीली पार तुम जोई सको ना ये समुद्र पण सु कहे छे बट सेट मोर्टलिटी ओवर दैट पावर ये आज शक्तिशाली कह सका है एवा बाप कुदरत की शक्ति शक्तिशाली सर्जन अमरिया जी समुद्र लोक धातु ये बजे पर्वत पत्थर के पृथ्वी ये पण मोर्टलिटी ये पण नाश थवा नाश तथा बची शक्ति नथी हाउ विच दिस रेज सेल ब्यूटी होल्ड अप पी टेम जो सुंदरता पण प्ले ले विनंती करे छे बचवा माटे पण आ द फिजिकल ब्यूटी देयर वाज सोनेट नंबर 1 एंड 60 ट्रू लव इन 116 नाम ट्रू लव नाम नो एक सोनेट फेमस छे ए माइन सुंदरता ने बात कर के सुंदरता पण आ विनंती आ प्ले आ इले फरज कर विनंती करे पण ए पण समय ना दोस वाज ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल ऑफ 16 और 17 वी कैन से और 18 दैट ब्यूटी रेस्ट अप टू 20 और 30 35 व्हाट हैपेंड देयर ग्रेजुअल द एज इज ग्रोन अप एंड द ब्यूटी वाज वैनिश्ड ये 15 ठीक है 17 18 वर्ष सुंदर छोकरी लगती होय छे ये 20 30 वर्ष सुधी सुंदर है तो धीमे धीमे उम्र वधे सु था के सुंदरता से धीमे धीमे घटती जाती होय जे यू आर द ब्यूटी कैन नॉट मोर्टलाइज Whose action is no stronger than a flower? Even flower, the fool. You know, any creature is stronger than. You know, if you act, you are working. You see, what are the time between? You see, what are the hours between? You see, ये आपन ने कोई नहीं खबर है जरूरी कि whose action is so stronger than a flower? Or or how? How? Oh, how shall summer's sunny breath hold out against the wrathful seas of battering day? I am telling you, summer. Because it was a western country. Western country has summer is the most melodious, or we can say that April is the most clearest month. Or else, these are the time, or we can say that April is the most beautiful month. 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 जेते आपले सी आडा में प्रमाण सुन वातावरण आवे छे मा ठंडी नै बहु गर्मी नै अतिशय ठंडी आणि ए रीते ते आ करे की एक टाइम समर मा होय छे त्या वेस्ट में એટલે क्या छे के ओ हाउ समर हनी ए समर सूर्य ने जे सूर्य नो प्रकाश ने मधुरता छे आणि ए मध मधुरता छे आणि जे ए एना आपले श्वासो मा भरी लई छे ए अगेंस्ट रेक पण ए पण